Hello guys, Omni here. We finally got a second trailer for The King's Man, the prequel to the Kingsman franchise. I've been really looking forward to this. The last Kingsman movie, I gotta say, was a little bit of a disappointment. I didn't hate it. I didn't dislike it any by any means, but it definitely didn't get anywhere near as good as I think that first film was. And I think going in this direction sets a different tone, especially going into a earlier time period, especially one that's in more of a darker place and in a state of upheaval that we see the Kingsmen eventually form from the, 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 the fires of this age and see how they kind of uh, move forward and get to where we were initially introduced to them in the first Kingsman movie. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. There's definitely an interesting tone to it and have just, I like anything so far that I've seen that has Ralph Fiennes in it. So this is another one of those. So let's go ahead and I'm not going to talk about it too much before we jump into things. So let's go ahead and pull up the trailer and give it a go. This will not be a war of heroes. Which is all to see. This is going to be fun. <laughs> I really like the cinematography. Like the layout of the shots. You have no idea of what men are capable of. We must do something. I know you want to fight. But there are other ways. Jimon Hunsu. Guys in everything now. You're going to need a suit. Come on. We are the first independent intelligence agency. Preserving peace and protecting life. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Generals gathered in their oh, real. <laughs> Just like witches at black masses. While government oh, orders, our people take action. Now it's time to show the world. Sorcerer of death's construction. Oh God. How mighty you are. What? <laughs> this is a much more upbeat trailer than the first one. Witness the rise. I think we are gentle men. But reputation is what Dude. I think of you. Is what you are. Armed? Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> Armed, yes. <laughs> ready. Oh, we shall see. What? This is called a parachute. It means that one can jump out of a plane safely. <laughs> oh my god that looks ridiculous i love it that that trailer definitely had a lot more energy i think the first one definitely kind of gave itself it, it took itself a lot more seriously this one kind of dove head first right into the kind of expectation i think we have with the kingsman film like yes it's uh the the international man of mystery these spy agencies kind of things thrown in there but it goes full-blown comic booky i mean given this is all based on a graphic novel uh but it just like dies right into the just the the fantastical the over-the-top fantasy elements of this action and these gadgets and this world and I don't know, just the tone in general. And we're seeing a lot of different landscapes as well. There's a lot of variation in the settings and the imagery. Uh, it seems like even in the villains that they're tackling, I, it seems like there's quite a few different people that are working in the background there. Uh, the fights seem to be amped up and giving us that choreography that we're used to that's going to pull off some insane action. Um, and the, just the cast, the cast itself, and uh, giving us our, our proxy with um, our kind of substitute Terran for this, our substitute Eggsy. Um, 
going into this, being introduced to this whole thing, seeing them kind of sort together and actually start this organization uh, when, you know, politics, bureaucracy, and, you know, rules of engagement kind of come into play and uh, prevent you from taking action, doing things where the guys undercover going in and dabbing on our enemies without waiting for, you know, our governmental <laughs> statutes to kind of give us the go ahead. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that idea that they kind of operate independently and of themselves uh, and just the way they take action and, you know, take the greater good into their hands. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of just like an organized vigilantism when you think about it. Um, I don't know, just a little bit of a, some of some a little Avengers going on here. Maybe I'm just taking this into some other territory, but other than that, I think it visually looks very good. Very interesting, solid film. At least I can't say it's a solid film. We don't know yet. It's still not out. We've seen plenty of fabulous trailers that end up being complete doo doo once they're on the screen. Like I, I, I was pretty hyped up for the second Kingsman film. And I think overall it was a general disappointment as a whole compared to the first film. Um, so I don't know. I, it looks great. The cast is great. And I'm willing to, I think the change of setting and having a new fresh cast of characters to work with and play with, um, knowing this is kind of set in the past so we can have a little bit of ease going into it that we don't have to shake up a whole lot. Uh, so there's a little bit of a safety in it as well as this whole little new kind of exploration of what they can do with the story that I think it's a little more, I don't know. I don't know. It keep it gives me a little bit more optimism for going into this, uh, kind of having to follow up a story rather than going back. I, I don't know. Sometimes I think going backwards is a little bit safer than trying to build off and like take a story forward just my thoughts. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I don't know what else to add to this at this point going forward in the, about this trailer, about what's going on. Uh, I can't wait to watch it. I'm really looking forward to it. I love a great action film, uh, especially that has like this, like over the top fantastical edge to it. Like this series does. I'm definitely down to it. There's a lot, there's a lot of tongue in cheek elements to it. Kind of also kind of poking at some of the tropes of the spy genre. Uh, and then ev even just ramping up a lot of those tropes to an extreme. And I find that re really entertaining, to be honest, myself. Like, I love, I grew up on James Bond. I grew up on the international man of mystery kind of stuff. Um, and this just kind of accentuates ex that, especially since James Bond has, has kind of been very hit or miss here in recent days or eight years. <laughs> Um, anyway, that's my thoughts on this trailer. Let me know yours down in the comments below. I'd love to carry on the conversation after this video. If you like this video, feel free to support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments what you didn't like, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.